Hello friends, welcome back to my new lecture. Today I am going to discuss about lumped heat system or some of the book it is called as lumped heat capacity system. Today we are going to discuss about its definition. At the same time I am going to discuss about what is biot number, what is its importance and what is its significance. Let's go for the lumped heat system. First of all let us see what is lumped heat system definition. A system which has less internal resistance compared to external resistance is called lumped system or lumped heat capacity system. So by the definition it has told that if the system or material is having a less internal resistance compared to external resistance. Now you should able to understand what is meant by internal resistance and external resistance. I have shown you two figure here. This is the first figure and this is second figure. In the first figure if you focus, let's consider that the T1 is an higher temperature whereas T2 is the atmospheric temperature. So this T2 is atmospheric temperature and heat is flowing from T1 to T2. Heat is flowing from T1 to T2. As heat is flowing from T1 to T2 in between there are many resistance. First resistance is provided by the wall, this wall which is yellow color. This provides a first resistance and second resistance is provided by the fluid. And let's consider a fluid which we are concerning here is the air. So second resistance is by the air. Now you can see that if it is a lumped system then resistance provided by internal, internal material. So this is if I am concerning with material. So if this material internal resistance means what resistance provided by the wall. With respect to this material external resistance means what resistance provided by the air. So if resistance provided by this material internal material is very less compared to resistance provided by air then that particular system is called as lumped system. In the other word the resistance of this material internal resistance is also called as conductive resistance because it is a solid part and for the solid part the resistance available is the conductive resistance and the resistance provided by the air is a convective resistance. So in other words I can say that if material internal conductive resistance is less compared to external convective resistance then we can say that system is lumped heat capacity system. Okay, so if internal resistance is less than that of the external resistance, then we say it is a lumped system. Now, next point of discussion is that in this system, the material has a very high thermal conductivity. So, resistance provided by the material is very, very less. Now, as we have discussed that this material is providing very, very less thermal resistance. Now, when there is less thermal resistance, if you are having very high thermal conductivity like if you say an example of copper aluminum they are having very good thermal conductivity and with this very good thermal conductivity they provide a very less resistance to flow very less resistance to flow means what heat can be easily flow through that particular material so if you take an any material and through that if heat is flowing very easily then resistance or thermal resistance of that particular material will be less that you have to remember if i consider example of wood wood is having very less thermal conductivity as thermal conductivity is less resistance is more and as resistance is more then what will happen heat to flow through the wood will be very very less so you have to remember when we are having very less resistance means thermal conductivity will be high or we can say that resistance is inversely proportional to thermal conductivity if thermal conductivity is more thermal conductivity generally denoted by k so this th K is inversely proportional to what thermal resistance. So if I consider thermal resistance as like this. So if K is more thermal resistance will be less or if K is less thermal resistance will be more. In current case of lumped system where we have seen that the internal resistance is very less. So as internal resistance is less means this resistance is less means that the thermal conductivity is high. So here this material will be having high thermal conductivity that was the point of discussion. Now here the next point what we are written is temperature variation with respect to distance is very less in other word temperature through the system is almost same means what if I check out the temperature 
of this wall on both surface the first wall surface temperature is t1 other surface temperature is ts so these are two temperature here when there is a high thermal conductivity k the heat transfer is very fast and as heat transfer is very fast the temperature on the other surface is also very similar to inner internal surface so you can check here that t1 and ts is very nearer to each other ts is obviously slightly less but they are very nearer to each other and why this has happened because of very high thermal conductivity like if you consider a copper so for copper it may be the case but if i consider the wooden part if i consider the wooden part now for the wooden part if t1 is very high t1 is let's say 100 degrees celsius what about ts the heat transfer through the wood is very very less because of its less thermal conductivity and as heat transfer is less the temperature on the outside surface will be less this is the figure the second picture shows that where thermal conductivity is less resistance is more so internal temperature here and here means what copper and wood let's consider this upper figure is for copper and downside figure is for wood so in case of copper in case of copper we are having t1 and ts t1 is the same for copper and wood whereas the ts will be different ts for wood will be very very less ts for copper will be high why this has happened that is because of thermal conductivity k when k is more resistance is less ts will be more when k is less resistance will be more and ts will be also very very less remember that the t2 which is atmospheric temperature is the same in both cases on the both cases t2 has remained same okay so we have discussed that if internal resistance is less than external resistance then we say it's lumped system if thermal conductivity is high and that's why resistance will be less and that's why it's called a lumped system third system is what when temperature variation throughout the body is less then that particular system is called as lumped heat capacity system okay now what is the example of lumped heat capacity system here we have given an example of lumped heat capacity system now what is this if i consider a copper ball copper ball which is heated one so here we are written that a small copper ball can be modeled as a lumped system but a roast beef cannot in this small copper ball if you see a temperature everywhere in the ball it's a 70 degree celsius all over you consider any molecule any place in the ball the temperature is 70 degree celsius means what throughout the temperature is constant and as throughout the temperature is constant i can consider that this is lumped system this is the lumped system okay now if i consider a beep and if i check the temperature for the beep the central temperature is 40 degrees celsius whereas the outside surface temperature is 110 degrees celsius so here there is a large variation in temperature throughout the material and as there is a large variation in the material this is a not a lumped system so you have to remember that if inside a body a high temperature variation we observe from point to point that is not a lumped system but if you observe that throughout system the temperature is almost same then we can consider that that system as lumped heat capacity system okay so till now we have discussed about lumped heat capacity system for the lumped system one very important dimensionless number we have to discuss and you should know the significance of that particular number so that number is called as biot number we are going to discuss about biot number what says biot number biot number is a ratio of internal resistance of material to external resistance now you are knowing what is internal resistance internal resistance is a conductive resistance external resistance is a convective resistance if i take a ratio of internal resistance of material to the external resistance then that particular ratio i can say that the biot number here we can see that if i take internal resistance so this resistance internal resistance divided by external resistance then we say it's a biot number mathematically i can write that biot number bi it is denoted by bi biot number bi is internal resistance divided by external 
resistance and what is internal resistance internal resistance is conductive resistance whereas external resistance is a convective resistance okay so if i take the ratio of these two then it's called as biot number now if a biot number is a less than 0.1 then the system is said to be how lumped system now this is very important sentence that if a biot number is less than 0.1 when biot number will be less than 0.1 if internal resistance is less and external resistance is very high how much high if internal resistance is a such a way that if i take and dividation and then value comes to be less than 0.1 so if value is less than 0.1 then and then only i can say that the system is lumped heat capacity system okay then for lumped system i can write by the mathematics as bi is less than 0.1 bi is less than 0.1 that is in a lumped system internal resistance is less than 10% of external resistance so here we have mentioned that lumped system in a lumped system internal resistance is less than 10% of external resistance so here if internal resistance is less than 10% less than 10% of external resistance in other word that is what 0.1 so if you take a ratio of this one so let's consider the internal resistance is let's say 7 unit internal resistance is 7 unit and external resistance is let's consider 100 unit so if i take a ratio of 7 by 100 so ratio of 7 by 100 will come to be how much 0 0.07 so that's what the ratio comes so here we can see that the internal resistance is less than 0.1 so we can say that the biot number is less than 0.1 and hence we can say that the internal resistance is less than 10 percent and hence we can say that the system is lumped system or lumped heat capacity system okay now here is some example just now we have discussed that biot number if it is less than 0.1 if it is more than 0.1 what happens so here now one side surface temperature is given as a ts1 another side temperature is given as a ts2 so in this particular case in this particular case what happen is that uh, if ts1 and ts2 is very nearer as i told you then it will be lumped system and for this it is written bi is less than that of the point one. so this is less than that of the point one and if bi is less than that of the point one then we say it's lumped system so this curve this curve is of lumped heat capacity system when biot number is equal to one when biot number is equal to one it indicate that biot number is equal to one means what the internal resistance and inter external resistance is same when biot number will be equal to one at that time internal resistance and external resistance if both are same then ratio will become what one or on the other word conductive resistance and convective resistance is the same at that time a biot number equals to be one so this is biot number one okay so this is the curve this is the curve when biot number is equal to one where the internal resistance and external resistance is same third curve which we are observing that biot number is more than one if biot number is more than one from this particular figure or from this particular ratio we can understand that if a convective resistance convective resistance is less than that of the conductive resistance then and then only the value will become more than one if convective resistance is less than that of the conductive resistance that's the exactly opposite of the lumped system if that is the system then biot number is equal to one so here we are having three curves three lines that biot number less than one lumped system biot number equal to one at that time conductive resistance is equal to convective resistance whereas biot number is more than one at that time conductive resistance is very very high compared to convective resistance Thank you very much for listening.